Live Look Now is operators collect donations for our WPPF 25 Day of Giving. They look busy, but not busy enough. We're partnering with the Palm Beach County and Treasure Coast Food Banks to help make sure nobody goes hungry in our communities this holiday season. Right now, both food banks are in desperate need of more supplies to feed our community for the holidays. Angela Rozier and First Morning Meteorologist Gun Glazer are live with how you can help today. We begin with Glenn at the Palm Beach County Food Bank and more on the hard work from volunteers. Glenn? Yeah, thanks, Felicia and Todd. You know, it has been an incredible day here. I got to see everybody in the warehouse here at Palm Beach County Food Bank working really hard. And then I got to see it now. It's all quiet and empty because people have gone home for the day, but they worked nonstop while they were here to put all these pallets of food everywhere. But then there's an additional thing that needs to be done. Jamie Kendall, CEO of Palm Beach County Food Bank. Hi, how are you? I am great, thank you. Listen, there's a lot of food in these bins but it doesn't sort itself, does it? <laughs> it does not. So we rely heavily on volunteers for everything that we do here at the food bank. So we have volunteer shifts Monday through Friday. We do a few Saturdays a month, and we have volunteers that sort the food, pack it into different boxes, kind of categorize yeah. things. So yeah, it takes a lot of work. And I was talking to Shane, uh, one of the warehouse managers here earlier. He told me there's 45,000 pounds of some, some, some ridiculous amount of food in here, thousands and thousands of pounds that needs to be sorted. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So on a normal month, the food bank distributes about 1.5 million pounds of food. Oh my goodness. So that is a lot of food. And our number one priority is food safety. So we go through everything and make sure that everything is good to go and to get it out in the community as fast as we can. Incredible. We've been talking about donations. Um, I just donated on my phone just to make sure it worked okay it worked great it's really easy to do so you can either call the number or you can just donate right on your phone any amount one dollar equals five meals two dollars ten meals and today and I know I talked about this last half hour but people are just tuning in there's an anonymous donor who is going to double everything up to is going to match everything up to fifty thousand dollars yep that is true so we really need everybody to come on out and engage on either the by calling us or going online to pbcfoodbank.org and making a donation and doubling your money. Or scan that QR code on the screen, please. Let's do this. We can do this. We're trying to reach that goal. I'm going to turn things over to my friend Angela Rozier up on the Treasure Coast with the Treasure Coast Food Bank. Angela? Hello, Glenn. I, too, got a chance to meet a lot of the folks here at the Treasure Coast Food Bank, including those volunteers. I also learned the services they receive here at the food bank. Well, from those volunteers, it goes and helps in so many ways. Don't forget to follow. All the way, Mike, all the way, follow. Nice job. When we met Michael Boltwright, he was just one day away from taking the test for a CDL or commercial driver's license. I asked him why this career. Um, my mom. Your mom? My mom. His mom has her CDL that motivated him to go for it. A better job opportunity, you know, um, better career. I'm more capable to provide for my family with a a decent paying job instead of having something and I'm still struggling from check to check. The commercial driving training program is one of several job training programs offered by the Treasure Coast Food Bank. Get it to where you can see down that side. There you go. Jimmy Kern is the training manager. I love that they had a program that they were wanting to give back to the community. We have so many people that their lifestyles aren't what they want to be. When he was hired, he was told to run it like you see it. He expects his students to work harder and be the best when they complete training. Federal law states this is our baseline for training. Uh, that's not satisfactory. A baseline should be above a federal or state standard. The program works for Michael. I'm also appreciated because, you know, for, for men like myself, we rarely get help. It's changed his life. Some people feel like because they got a felony or a record, it just hinders, hinders them from everything. And you, it's always a room for a second chance, you know, new opportunities. So like, don't be afraid to try something or go for something that you believe in because you never know what's gonna happen if you don't try. 
And good news, Michael did pass his test, so we want to congratulate him. And as I was speaking about volunteers, Jimmy, the instructor you saw in that story, I ran into him today at the Treasure Coast Food Bank um, and I saw him moving pallets and helping um, with some of the boxes. So as I say, the volunteers do more than just train, as you saw there. They also make a difference here at the food bank. Back to you, Felicia and Todd. Yeah, they certainly do. And thank you again. If you would like to donate to the Treasure Coast Food Bank, you can call 772-905-5191 or text the number on your screen. And here's how to donate to the Palm Beach County Food Bank. Take a look. You can call 888-403-1104 or visit pbcfoodbank.org. Our phone bank is open until 630 tonight for your donation.